When you perform division, the number that is being divided is called the dividend. And the number that divides the dividend is called the divisor. The result of this division is called the quotient. In performing division of 8-bit binary numbers, we apply the following rules. Number one, if sign bits are equal, either both 0 or both 1, then the quotient is positive. Otherwise, the quotient is negative. Number two, if the dividend and or divisor R is in complemented form, convert them or it to true form. Division is performed using repeated subtraction. See figure 1. In figure 1, let R equals the remainder and Q is equal to the quotient which is initially a decimal integer. So at the start of the process, equate the quotient to 0. Then to get the remainder R, subtract the dividend with the divisor or add the dividend with the 2's complement of the divisor. And then after that, add 1 to the current value of the quotient or Q. After that, let's see if the resulting remainder is positive or 0 or negative. If the remainder is greater than 0, then you need to perform repeated subtraction again. If R is positive, then subtract R with the divisor or add R with the 2's complement of the divisor and then increment or add 1 to the current value of the quotient. Then let's check again if the remainder is positive and if it's positive, you just continue the repeated subtraction. Otherwise, if R is 0 or R is negative, then the current value of the Q or the quotient is our quotient. But recall that initially is Q is in decimal, so we need to perform this step wherein we need to convert the decimal Q into a binary value. And that would be our quotient. Later, we will apply this algorithm on our example. And rule number three, if the final quotient should be negative as dictated by rule one, then take the two's complement of the final quotient. Otherwise, do nothing. As an example, 0110-0100 divided by 0001-1001. So first, based on our algorithm, equate Q or the quotient to 0. Next, before we perform repeated subtraction, we need to get the two's complement of the divisor so that we can perform subtraction using binary addition. Let's try to find the two's complement of the divisor. So we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. To get its two's complement, we need to first find its one's complement. So this is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Then add 1 to its least significant bit. 0 plus 1 is 1. Then copy the remaining bits. Now we can repeatedly use this in our algorithm. The dividend is 0110100. And this is our two's complement of the divisor. One 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 zero zero one one one. Then let's add them up. Zero plus one is one. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is zero one. One plus zero and zero is one. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus one is zero one. One plus one plus one is one one. One plus one is zero one. Recall from our rules in adding 8-bit binary number. We have to discard this carry bit, discard the ninth bit. This would be our remainder. And the remainder has a sign bit of zero, which tells us that the remainder is positive. According to our algorithm, if the remainder is positive, 
we should continue the subtraction process. But since our divisor is already in two's complement, we could just simply add it to the remainder. We have this remainder, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And the two's complement is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Let's add them up. We need to perform this part. Q equals Q plus 1. So right now, our quotient is now equal to 1 at this stage. So 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. Again, we need to discard this 9th bit. Again, this is our new remainder. And obviously, it is still positive because of this sign bit. So we need to continue repeated subtraction. This time, I need to add... 1 to Q. So Q is now equal to 2. So let me write the new remainder here and the two's complement of the divisor. So the new remainder is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. And the uh, Two's complement is still the same. One, 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 zero, zero, one, one, one. Let's try to add this. One plus zero is one. One plus one is zero. One. One plus one is zero. One. One plus zero is one. One plus zero is one. One plus one is zero. One. One plus one is zero. One. One plus one is zero. One. Again, discard this ninth bit. And obviously, our new remainder is still positive. Hence, we need to continue repeated subtraction. But right now, I need to increment Q. Q equals 3. The new remainder is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. For the two's complement, of divisor I'll just copy it from here one 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 zero zero one 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 so one plus one is zero one 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 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, 1. Again, discard the 9th bit. After that, increment Q. Remember that after performing this binary addition, we need to increment Q before checking again the condition. Q, which is now Q equals 4. But this time, this is our remainder, and it's now zero. But based on our condition, we will continue repeated subtraction if r is greater than zero. Right now, r is equal to zero. Hence, we now go to this part of the control flow, which is false. Whatever the value of the decimal number q, we just need to convert it into a binary number, and hence, that would be our quotient. So currently, we now have to stop the repeated subtraction and just convert q into a binary number, which happens to be, if I try to draw the different bit positions this has a binary weight of 2 raised to 0 this one is 2 raised to 1 and so on so obviously this bit position is equal to 4 hence our quotient is equal to 
zero 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 one zero zero so this is our quotient Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell button for awesome updates. Thank you for watching!